this. Hi everyone, I'm Tony. Finally, I managed to make a pattern for a bowler hat that actually looks all right. More than all right. Before we start, this pattern isn't for everyone. Making a hat like this is hard. Cross stitching is hard. If you've already made up your mind and you set on making this hat, make sure you have the right leather, the thickness of the leather. It's very important. Whatever you're gonna do, this will be the best hat you will ever make. You're welcome. So, first step to get from nothing to this is to print the pattern. I just showed you what settings to use to get the pattern printed correctly, but even though you followed those steps precisely to the point exactly without any alterations, I hope, um, use the first page of the pattern to make sure that's the case. Test page. Basically, you have here two squares and more dimensions here, both in inches and centimeters. So get your ruler, which is in inches or centimeters, right? We don't discriminate here. We like everybody. And use it to make sure you print it at exactly the right proportions. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with a hat that's either too big or too small. You don't want that. It's going to be a lot of work. You want to avoid anything extra, if at all possible. So, use a ruler. Put it exactly on the square here. And make sure you have 5 centimeters. Use inches, no problem. We got you covered. Make sure that fits, and then you can start working. Now, this pattern will be both available as a PDF and as a printed paper pattern. So, two completely different options. One, you print yourself and you assemble using this diagram here, which I will show you next. But if you want to skip this and have all the pattern laid out in front of you in one single page, I will make that available with a printed pattern. This pattern I will personally print, pack, put a stamp on it, take it to the post office and send it to your home address. They will obviously take more time to get to you. However, you skip all the assembly part. You skip all the printing part. It's, that's something, you know, you can live with, no problem, I'll send it to you. Now, next, I'm going to move the camera up here so you can better see how I cut and paste all of these together.
We've already finished cutting the paper patterns and now we need to choose the leather for the hat, which is a very, very important step. If you don't choose the right leather, your hat is not going to come off the way you want it. All right? For this one, for the first one I made, I used 5.5 vegetable tan leather, which I dyed in black myself. So the leather, this leather is 2.2 millimeters thick. Very important because there will be a lot of cross stitching here. Basically you join two pieces of leather together on its edge. If that edge is not thick enough, your stitching is not gonna come up. Now, my choice for the next hat I will be making with you today is this beautiful brown 6.5 ounces leather. So next we're gonna apply the paper patterns on top, punch the holes, cut the leather, stitch the leather, put the leather on your head as a hat hopefully.
So, after you finish punching all the, I don't know, 20, 30 holes. There's more than 30. What? There's more than 30? How many? 1,500. 1,500! Can't tell them that. What's wrong with you? So after you finish all the 40 holes that need to be punched, you can finally move to the next stage and cut all the pieces out. After we cut all the pieces, we can get ready and stitch them all up. Now, this is the this is the hard part. This is the most uh, most tedious part, but it has to be done. We're gonna we're gonna start with a crown, right? And we're gonna be using what is called a cross stitch, basically. This is what we're going to be doing. Attach the leather not like this, on top of each other, but on its edge. Uh, and this is why you can only use leather that has a certain thickness. I will actually allow this type of stitching. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of this. But um, you know what? this in the end you'll get from these to this so I think it's worth it oh yeah you might have noticed um, the leather looks dramatically different from the original piece that we started off with how do I do this it's not a secret anymore I have a video on my channel, you can uh, have a look and see exactly how you get from that boring shade of brown to these dark um, edges and leather that looks like it's been around for years, alright? But um, time to get stitching. Bear with me till I move the camera again so you get a better look at my fingers.
Your fingers must be hurting by now, I'm sorry about that. But just take a look at what you've done and uh, you'll forget all about the pain. And I promise you, the end of the hat is much easier. Well, this is the crown done. Next, we're gonna move to the brim. Now, the brim will, will get a long strip of leather all around which has two purposes. First purpose is to dress up the edge nicely, make it look more professional. But there is a more important reason you fit this to the brim. We will insert a two millimeter wire all around. This is the secret. This is why the brim doesn't just fall flat. See, gravity has got nothing on this brim. This is something I do in most of my hats. Mask a wire inside this strip of leather and um, afterwards you're able to shape the brim the way you want so I'm gonna go and get the get the wire and then I'll show you how to stitch it inside all right one more thing before you you start stitching as you're probably asking yourself by now how long this wire should be the length of this strip plus two inches Okay, after you've done the border with the wire inside, like I did here, um, we can now attach the brim to the crown, okay? There is a little 
mark on the pattern and um, you should start stitching from there so when I when I printed my pattern and I punched all the holes I use this to make a little dot here not sure if you can see it see right here I made a mark and that's exactly where we're gonna start stitching this so it's perfectly aligned all right
Well, after so much stitching, so much cutting, so much hole punching, we finally finished. Look at this. This is exactly what you hoped for, right? Well, at this stage, all you gotta do is, um, you know, just personalize the band the way you want. For mine, I added an extra strip, some rivets to give it a more steampunk look. And then, um, because of the wire, if you now shape this a little bit, it should keep its shape. So, you're welcome. You know, give it a little bit of time, don't rush it. And um, give it as, as much of a bend uh, as you want. Or leave it um, laying flat. Doesn't matter as much as you like. So, this is it. What do you think? Better fit me. Oh yeah, this is it. You've done it, congratulations. You got yourself a bowler hat.